Hi, welcome to the painting studio here at York University. Um, my name's Kat and I like to paint. So this is the last piece of my portfolio that I'm going to send off to all the universities um, for my master's degree. Hopefully I get in. Um, so I just used pretty much all of the last materials that I had. And I also went around the studio and found like different plastics and like garbage bags and different pieces of paper that I found actually behind there. There's just like a whole bunch of trash and I was like, yay, materials. <laughs> um, so I just uh, put it all together in a way that reminds me of back home and reminds me of like walking through the woods and gives you that kind of feeling. I know it doesn't look like that right now, but in my head it does. <laughs> um, and I'm gonna use these photographs that I took as color inspiration. So I'm gonna use a lot of oranges and yellows, browns. It's gonna be really winter inspired, which is perfect because it's outside. Sometimes it ends up completely different. Um, but I think that's the, the beauty of abstract painting is that like it's sometimes it's just like a beautiful surprise in the end. And sometimes it just turns into complete shit, but <laughs> that's the fun of it. It's a surprise. <laughs> I do have a general idea of where I want to take it. Um, and I have like visions of, in my head of where I want to go with it, but generally it turns out a surprise for me. Okay, uh, so I'll start out with um, like painting the background uh, in order to unify all of the items that I include in all of the, the trash and kind of camouflage everything. I have to start with the background and then like work my way up and then do the highlights at the end. Um, so that's what I'm doing right now. I have some old paint that's really gross, <laughs> um, but it, it works. So I'm just doing that now. And I'm gonna try to get into every single nook and cranny that I can. And I like to paint on the floor because I can see it from like different angles and kind of like tilt my head and get in there. <laughs> not the prettiest color to be wiping on my pants, but gotta do what you gotta do. It's easier than bringing like a little hanky with you, so just wipe it on your pants. <laughs> okay, it really varies between um, different works because for some works, I will have like a specific idea in my head and I'll, I'll try to find objects that um, like relate to that idea. But for some works, it's just, like I go with a, a certain feeling or um, or like a certain color that I that I want to use and it's not as planned um, like for the you remember the telephone one the telephone piece that one was uh, pretty planned out like I actually had to go out and buy used telephones from Value Village um, so that one I I really had like a plan in my head I did a couple of sketches didn't really follow them. <laughs> um, but for this one, it's really not as planned. Like I, I just went with a, a vision I had in my head, um, collected a lot of this wood from my backyard and just went with the feeling of forest and uh, yeah.
What would I tell a first year student just beginning visual arts? I would tell them to definitely just enjoy the journey and don't be afraid to experiment with uh, different mediums, different colors that maybe you're not comfortable with um, because sometimes when you take risks in visual arts or mostly all the time when you take risks uh, something beautiful happens as an outcome and you can you can make some really awesome discoveries um, by taking risks risks and stepping out of your comfort zone so don't be afraid would be one of the top things I would say.